awesome losers, and welcome to the very first episode of Art of the Dice, where everything I draw from the who, what, and where is all decided on, well, dice. Each dice has its own category. These dice decide exactly what I'm drawing, whether that may be an animal, person, machine, creature, or an object. This dice chooses what the subject is doing, this one's for the location. Even the art material I use is decided on a dice. I can use other art stuff, but more than half the art piece has to be created with the material I rolled. Sometimes I also add in a challenge dice to spice things up a bit. And whenever I'm stuck or have no idea what to do, I'm allowed to roll a yes and no dice, but I can only use it once. So now that you know all the boring rules, let's roll! So to start off, we pick kind of like our subject of the drawing of what we're going to draw. And so my main subject is going to be an object. And now what is this object, you might ask? Well, then you grab the object dice. A pancake! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, is this, is this pancake sentient? Like, um, can it do things? Yes! Okay! <laughs> what is this pancake doing? Delivering? So this pancake is delivering. I guess we can do uh, silently of one object dice right now. I guess it's delivering something. Um, and then we have... Where is this pancake? At a store. Okay, I'm praying to god I don't get graphite because I... D this sounds way too much fun to do this in graphite. Crayon! <laughs> okay! <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy ride. Should I do a challenge? Okay. Because this is the first episode, I will not do a challenge. I will in the next episode, so be on the lookout for that. So what do we got here? We got a pancake delivering a sentient pancake delivering something to a store and this is drawn in crayon okay <laughs> let's see what i can come up with <laughs> automatically the first thing that popped in my head was pancake people or breakfast people but more uh pancake more like a pancake guy because since the loca location was a store. I wanted the, the pancake to be kind of like a delivery man for the store. And so I was trying to decide like what kind of toppings he'll have on his head, if he has any toppings or syrup. And I also wanted the store to be related to breakfast food. Um, so I thought about maybe just stocking the whole shelf with syrups and other things like that. And in this world, I don't know if pan- I, I thought the idea of like pancake syrup is like makeup and same with like bananas or strawberries, but that is an idea I had. And since this guy is a delivery man, I had this idea of him just delivering like strawberries to his boss. And then I also had this other idea of, okay, since these are pancake and breakfast people, are humans still here? Are humans a thing at all? Like, are they like a myth? Are they a legend? So what if I had this delivery guy, this delivery pancake, discover a human baby in, in the box? Like, this is just concept ideas, guys. This is just throwing out ideas. So anything can go. Um, I kind of want to, like, see a story about that of, like, humans that exist and, like, breakfast people are like, what's going on? <laughs> so at this point, I really wasn't sure what I, w I wanted to do. Since my ideas were kind of out there and kind of everywhere uh, at this point, I really was having trouble. Uh, but I still wanted to stick with the delivery man pancake at a store. Um, I wasn't still sure on what kind of store I wanted. Uh, and so I thought, since I saw the idea of delivering strawberries, I thought since these strawberry people are sentient, like living creatures, I <laughs> this idea of families like adopting like live strawberry kids like little strawberry babies off from the shelf like they just pop out of the ground and you can just adopt them and so this is what this pancake delivery guy is doing is just putting up sh baby strawberries on the shelves for people to adopt um and then i do and i got this little delivery hat i know in like in the sense that he's flat and he's he has his hat on but it, it's a cartoon it, it works it works so since um, I decided I wanted to 
deliver strawberries and these these strawberries were kind of like babies they're like kids i thought this idea of these kids who live um on the street or down the street of the store like to mess with the delivery man and so these strawberry kids are just chilling in the delivery man's box delivery man's delivery box to, to mess with him and his boss is really cool he's like grown up um He's like a really old man or like a really old egg and he's grown up uh, seeing kids do like mischievous, mischievous things uh, and it just gives him a good laugh once in a while. Sticking with more, uh, having a more clear of idea of what I do, I decided to do some thumbnails of how I wanted the final piece to go. And this here is me just figuring out some different angles of what I wanted to do. Ultimately, I took out the manager egg guy because I really just wanted to focus on the pancake and the strawberry kid. So then I just started uh, doing some final thumbnails and really laying things out of how I wanted the final piece to look. After deciding on a final thumbnail, this is where I start, uh, started to um, sketch in the final sketch. And then I do have all my thumbnails in my uh, final thumbnail to the side to use as reference. And I'm using some Strathmore sketch paper. I didn't really think more of the size. I just kind of, I know if you want to do prints and that type of stuff, you should really pay attention more to the size. Um, but I, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of draw to whatever size I'm feeling. <laughs> And also, I didn't know for the shelf what kind of bottles I, or kind of like materials I wanted in the background. I did end up using just, I wanted to do like also cereal boxes, but I ended up just doing um, kind of like the syrup jugs. And then for coloring, I'm using my 120 set of Crayola crayons. Uh, there's actually a color called Wild Strawberry. It's a like really pinkyish tone more on the red side. I don't think I ended up using it. I think I ended up using a different red, but I thought it was kind of cute um, and it kind of gave me an idea of what kind of colors I wanted to do. Kind of more um, warmer tones I think I went for. Uh, one thing about me, I, I hate I hate coloring. I know that's so weird because I know for some people they love to color like a lot of artists. They think it's their favorite part. I, I hate coloring. It just takes so long and then especially traditionally where you have to layer and if you don't use the same right colors you have to like redo everything and you have to like sometimes you don't layer correctly and like here's me trying to like figure out how to do this pancake color and I just uh it was just it was terrible. I hate coloring, uh, but it's also always a great idea to do some test swatches. This is what I'm kind of doing here. I'm also using my light box. Um, I talk about more, a little bit more in depth in one of my newest sketchbook tours. Um, and what it just kind of lets me do is be able to see what's underneath, kind of like using layers in Photoshop or a different drawing program. And here's me trying to figure out how I want to do the syrup jugs. Uh, that's kind of like the one thing I hate about this drawing uh, is that I tried to like, you'll see later how I try to do some like uh, shadowy, instead of like outlining the jugs, I ended just coloring them up as holes and having a darker background. But because they're smaller and crayons are a little bit harder to work with, it kind of looked kind of grainy and not as polished as I wanted it to look. <laughs> 
For the final illustration, I decided to use my good old trusty Canson Mixed Media paper. Um, I tested some swatches and some things on there, and I kind of like how the crayon was showing up. Since I didn't want to do a pencil sketch, I wanted everything to be more in crayon. Uh, I'm using my light box to have the finished sketch show through so I can just outline with crayons. I don't know why I decided adding that purple and the <laughs> strawberry was a good idea. I ended up ultimately ruining the strawberry's mouth. I think I was just trying to add more color and depth, but I did help um, fix it using my white gel pen. I felt like I was having a bit too many browns, like the shelf, the pancake, and the box. So to add a little bit more shadow and color, I added a bit of a purplish pinkish color uh, for the darker part and shadowy part of the box. Don't know if it worked, but it helped a little bit, pop a little bit more color in it, I believe. Same with the pancake guy. I think I outlined a little bit of purple around his hat and the outline of um, his hat and his body. This is where I believe things started to go a little bit downhill. Um, so I just decided to do kind of just jugs and I guess that kind of look like syrup container things or syrup like those poor thing, those, 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 those thingies that you get at IHOP that pour your syrup, that you used to pour your syrup. I was just trying to make them look like. Um, I tried to out or try to like shade the background to be brown but I was like this is so much brown everywhere so again I tried doing like the pink adding the pink and the brown together to add some pop of color and, and it kind of works and then I tried going back in the brown and it's just it was hard to get I don't know I just I don't think it turned out the way I wanted it to uh, just with the texture of the crayon and like not being able to get those like those fine lines fine outline of the shape of the the jug i just i couldn't do it <laughs> um but i feel like i was working with marker or digitally i think i could be able to do it more um finely but it's whatever and i did cut and trim the piece a little bit to because i didn't want to it just looked a little bit cut that way <laughs> better cut that way um and then just did some final touches and here is the final piece. It's a lot more grainy on camera, but it's a little bit more smooth in person. And there's like a little bit of a white patch on the pancake that I did fix later. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you and you guys are gonna enjoy this series because I plan to make more episodes if you guys like it. If you have any feedback or suggestions, suggestions, uh, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you around. Bye bye. <laughs>